welcome to my channel in this video i will show you how to control the shader or a material with animation nodes or more technically means how to transfer animation data to the shader means you want to control the color or some nodes of the shader with the fall off or any other data of the animation nodes let's get start so this technique is similar to the uh, set vertex colors but in this technique we are only going to use this UV map data output node but this is the first video of the series in my coming videos I will discuss about uh, this UV map data input node and and other uh, situation or scenario where you can use this technique to control the shader with the animation nodes so first we are going to add this object node and select the object then we need the information about the mesh so use this mesh object node and then connect the object you maybe know that the UV map is uh, is basically the individual polygons so to get the information about the individual polygons we need a separate polygons node then hide the mesh and enable the polygon indices then connect the vertex location to the vertices and look indices to the indices now we have the vertices of the individual polygons and then add the this UV map data output node and connect the object to the object socket. Now we are going to store the information of the animation data or maybe fall fall of information or something in this the coordinates of the UV map vertices. So let's add the evaluate node to evaluate the UV uh, to evaluate the fall off at the polygon vertices then connect strength to the X and Y now we can use any fall off to transfer the data from animation node to the UV map so I am going to use this object object fall off connect this fall off to the fall off then add a empty empty object and then select the empty object now go to the shading tab so to get the information about the UVs we are going to use this texture coordinate and here is the UV information and then we are going to use a gradient texture and connect this UV to the this vector and set to the easy in my coming video I will show you how you can use this utilize this UV information with other shader nodes so let's control the color with this UV information maybe green or this maybe red so if I yeah see we can affect the color with this object so <laughs> so now it's uh, only 8 vertices that's why we're getting uh, this uh, drift transition but let's add more vertices to make it smooth see Thank you. 
okay so maybe i'll add color ramp to show the this small amount of jaggedness so there are two ways to to get rid of this this jagged edges if you want to get rid of this jagged edges you can use a blur texture node which i'll provide with this uh, with this uh, blend file so add this a small amount of okay so another way is use subdivision modifier but that but that only work in the 2.7 in 2.7 we have this subdivide uv maps option so that will help to smooth the this jagged edges but in 2.8 we don't have this maybe in future we going to have that option or a proper blur node to to blur the texture or uh, any data from the uh, texture coordinate so it is up to you using a blur texture node or a uh, or a more number of vertices see I'll also show you with the this curve fall off. Let's get rid of this fall off. Then I add a spline fall off, and maybe we have to increase the resolution. So, see. So maybe we have to increase the number of vertices. So this is the basic setup to transfer any information from the UV uh, from the animation nodes through the UV map to the shading. So with this UV map, you can control any. Uh, you can control any shading node and there is one limitation is that this uh, this is limitation because of blender means we can't use this uv map information to control the volume shaders we can only control the surface shaders so now i will show you my project file so this is in file of notary uh, here i use the wiggle vectors and at that vector locations i calculate the point file of then use this point file of to affect the this, te uh, this texture and other properties of the shader so i use the same setup to transfer this information of file of to the uv map then in the shading I use the UV map to control the to mix the shaders, mission and this principal shader and also other properties like the normal uh, normal map, bump map, uh, this roughness and color of this texture. So with this we have this very nice effect. So this technique is very powerful so and also faster than the vertex color. So I hope you like this tutorial. Please like the video and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more updates. Until next time, happy noding. Bye.